In teaching digital logic, it's it's always good to have a simulator, one that you could actually use to uh, uh, simulate uh, using chips and input and output and digital logic. Uh, in the past, I used a product called Logisim, which was a very, very good, it's a very good teaching tool. Um, however, there have been some problems with Logisim. Um, the person who uh, kept it up to date, stop keeping it up to date, and therefore it doesn't work on a lot of platforms right now. So, what I've uh, decided to do is I've switched to a product called Digital, and I want to introduce that to you. And this is the uh, uh, introduction to Digital. If you want a copy of it, uh, go to uh, GitHub.com, H Neiman uh, slash Digital, and um, you can actually download a copy there. Um, the uh, instructions for it are right here. You can download the digital.zip and unpack it. It requires a Java runtime environment of at least uh, 8 or above. And uh, in Windows, you can do an Adopt Open JDK. I've tested this in Windows. I'm uh, currently testing it on a Mac to make sure everything's OK. Uh, and as the uh, people who uh, developed this said, uh, uh, Logisim was, was very, very good. And I would have kept using it had it uh, been up to date, but it's, uh, but it's really not. All right. Well, uh, this is uh, uh, digital. I um, I created an icon, digital.jar. You see it right there, and I'm going to demonstrate that. And I'm going to uh, demonstrate it using a one-bit arithmetic logic unit. So we'll build that uh, for you. And everybody who's taken a digital logic class has probably seen this. Uh, you have the files up here for uh, opening and closing uh, files, editing, uh, viewing. Zoom in, zoom out, scaling, uh, running the simulation itself. Analysis I'm not going to cover in this uh, particular uh, video. I'll do that a little bit later. But we're going to be using components quite a bit. That's where we're going to start right now. So components. Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to put out the gates that I'm going to put uh, on my circuit. And the first one is a uh, logic AND gate. So I'm going to put that out. And I'm going to give you a little uh, tutorial on the mouse and keypad. Uh, movement. I'm just uh, moving the uh, mouse around right now. I'm not pressing any buttons. And when I click the left button on the uh, PC, it, it puts it right there. Now to select it again, I, I go in the center and I click on it. And you see it highlights it by that little blue circle. And again, I'm, my hand is not on the mouse, uh, mouse button. I'm just moving it around. So now I want to go up to another component and I want to get an OR gate right there. I want to put that here. And to complete the gates for my arithmetic logic unit, I want an adder. So I'm going to put that uh, down here too. All right. Now, uh, you'll notice too that I can um, um, uh, move the screen. This is I'm put, clicking on my right button, and I can move the screen up and down and left and right. So I have a fairly good size uh, uh, work area. And again, clicking in the center. And then again, I'm not pushing down on any button. I'm just moving it around, and then when I click, it sets it right in place. So clicking on the gates and the components like that are fairly easy. Wires are a little different. I'll explain those. Well, now we got to put in some buttons. So again, I'm going to do some inputs, I.O. So this is my input. And the nice thing about the inputs is uh, I'll put it right there. Uh, I'll right-click on it, and you can say the number of bits that you want. And you can put a label on it. We'll call this uh, A because that's, uh, that's what we're going to a, uh, a input uh, button. And we'll put a label on it here in A. And you'll see that it uh, actually puts that on the label itself. Uh, in advance, you can actually rotate it. Um, the default we're going to use is we're going to actually create binary inputs so we can change the bits. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to put that there. Very good. <clears throat> and you'll see, we'll show you how to connect up the uh, inputs. And I'm moving it over to the left a little bit. And now I'm going to put another bit in. See, when I use a gate, it puts it up here for me. So I'm going to put another one down here. And we're going to make this one uh, B. I right click on that. And we're going to say B. And we'll say uh, B input to uh, input. <laughs> OK, the B input. And you'll see when you hover over it, it uh, shows that little description. Uh, I need some uh, buttons on top. And this is going to be A invert. And this is going to be uh, B invert. And this will be uh, carry in. Now, but the you'll notice that the 
output, which is that little red button right there, is kind of facing the wrong direction. So I'm going to right click and uh, uh, put a label on A, invert, number of bits is 1, advanced, and I'm going to rotate it to 270 degrees. Um, the Logisim one, if you've used it, it had north, south, east, and west, which I, I really kind of like that. But this is okay. We, we get used to it. All right, A invert. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll move these around. This is B invert. Let's not worry about those. Let's, uh, let's uh, rotate it. Not as good a graphics maybe as uh, uh, Logisim, but uh, still very, very usable. And we also want to create a uh, binary here. And we want to do the same thing in here. We want to make sure it's binary. Uh, again, all of you can pick whichever one you want. OK. And then this is, this is a <coughs> carry, carry in. And OK, we also want to rotate it. 70 and number format is binary okay and our buttons right there well again we'll we'll shift things around to make them make them fit nicely <coughs> now um, the uh, one more button we want to do and that is the uh, operations for deciding what comes out of our arithmetic logic unit and again, the label is uh, operation. And then uh, we'll put a, we could put a description in that. We'll rotate it 270 to point it down. And we'll make it uh, binary also. All right, very good. All right, now we're going to put in some uh, multiplexers, or muxes, as they're called. And the first one we want to do is we want to do uh, A invert. So we'll go up here to our components and plexers and we'll do a multiplexer and we'll put it right here <clears throat> because uh, what we want to do is uh, we want a invert to decide whether we want a or a not to come out so that's what we want um, we have uh, the zero input uh, point data point and the one data input point the selector which is a one bit selector is actually on the bottom and what we can do there is we can flip that and now it's on top. Okay, so let's uh, move these around a little bit so we have uh, a little bit of space here. And that's nice about these things. Uh, oops, I, I selected a wire. I'm gonna hit the escape button. And uh, all right, so let's connect this up now. To connect them is a little tricky. <coughs> Took me a little while to figure this out. Um, I click and lift up the button on the uh, input wire. And again, you can start either at the MUX or at the uh, input itself, it doesn't matter. I click on it and let up, and I'll drag that down and connect it to the MUX right there. So it's connected. I'll do the same thing with the A invert, but before I do, I'm going to make myself a little room because I'm going to put a NOT gate down at the bottom. I'll connect that up. And now I'll do another component, and I want a logic, and I want a NOT gate right there. And you'll notice that when I put it real close, it automatically goes ahead and connects it to, to that one. I'll click on that wire, take it left, and move it up. And as long as I'm doing just those two movements, it'll, it'll uh, stay with me. Now, if I were going to change direction again, I'd have to click the button, and I have two more moves I can do. So there is A, and uh, we will hit uh, uh, B over here. And we'll move B invert over just a little bit. And we'll do another mux here. And we'll do the same thing with it that we did to the other one. We will invert the position. Okay. And move our B invert over to line up with it. Come down and connect it. Click. Drag down. Click. Um, let's line this up a little bit. Oops. Let me hit escape. Connect that wire over. Bring down a NOT gate. And uh, connect this wire up. Oops. Let me do that edit undo just a little bit. Yeah. Connect that. There we go. 
Okay, so now we have A invert, um, A and B, and A invert and B invert set up. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, do our carry in. That comes down here to our arithmetic logic unit. We'll bring that in here, so that carry in is okay. Well, let's go ahead now and connect up the gates. What I want is I want the output of this MUX to go to all three of these in the A slot. So I'll take this over and real close right there. Just click, up, click, and then right click. To continue connecting them, I'll go down here, click, there we go, and then there we go. There's, there's A. Let me do B. <clears throat> click and it doesn't matter which order you do this in there we go and then up here all right so there's our our, our uh, gates they're all uh, put in there now a couple things left to do I'm gonna put a mux down here Okay, and this is a this is our output. Okay, this is our output, and again I'm going to flip it because I want it on top. Uh, but um, uh, I've got to configure it because now what I've got to do is uh, uh, the selector bits. I've got to have two of them because I've got to have enough room for four operations. I've got to be able to select this AND gate, this OR gate, or the output of the arithmetic logic unit. Now. So let me explain this a little bit. The MUX, the uh, number of selector bits tells me how many things I can select. So two will give me four, uh, three will give me eight, so on and so forth. The number of data beats is the bits that are coming in. So we only have one bit coming in. I'm not going to rotate it. It's fine just as it is. And this operation up here must now be two bits and operation and advanced and we will make it uh, binary also it is that's okay and we will connect that to the selector bit right here okay we this comes to the zero bit I'm going to stop and connect it this is the OR gate this is the output of the arithmetic logic unit. Now the unlike Logisim where you can leave one off, this one you can't. You've got to connect something to it. I, I just go ahead and connect the carry out up to this and even though I'm never going to select it uh, because carry out I'm actually going to put an output uh, to it. So components IO I'll put an LED right here and connect that up to the output. And now I'm going to put another LED down here for the, uh, the carry out. All right. <clears throat> All right, so that is our one bit arithmetic logic unit. And for those of you not familiar with one bit arithmetic logic units, uh, what I can do here is given the input A and B, if operation, if I select operation zero, it's going to give me an AND. If I select operation one, it's going to give me an OR. If I select operation two, it's going to give me the result of the adder. If I wanted to do a three, it would give me the carry out, but I'm, I don't really want to do that. Uh, a invert, B invert inverts the um, uh, items going in here. So to get a uh, not or, I do an A invert and B invert and pick the uh, AND gate. And likewise, I could get a NAND if I choose operation zero. So let's just show you to start the simulation. We'll start the simulation. You notice everything is is uh, there. I can turn uh, A and B on, okay? And you'll notice that since operation zero is selected, what comes out of this is actually the uh, result of the AND. If I uh, <coughs> turn this off, you'll notice that uh, that's no longer an AND gate. But if I pick uh, operation one, all right, now the results of the OR gate comes out. So this is how you do it. This is our brief introduction to digital. Um, download it, give it a try, run through this exercise. It's very, very helpful. I'm going to move on to uh, a few more complex things now that uh, I think you'll find uh, very, very handy. And uh,
hope you uh, uh, hope you click on that. If you like this video, click like and uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.